Today, a look at Zechariah chapter 14, verses 10 and 11. All the land shall be turned into a plain from Geba to Rimon, south of Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be raised up and inhabited in her place from Benjamin's gate to the place of the first gate and the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananel to the king's wine presses. The people shall dwell in it, and no longer shall there be utter destruction, but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. There are many hills and notable landmarks around Jerusalem, but this is all going to be done away. This is all but going to be replaced and turned into a plain so that the city of Jerusalem can be the, the dominating feature. I mean, really, this is going to become the capital of the universe, uh, the great king, God, the creator of all. This is going to be his the, the, the central place. So I guess it's appropriate, right, that everything around it be, be removed and flattened out so that the city itself dominates, the city of the great king. That makes sense. I get it. Jerusalem was depopulated many times as armies and invaders came and, and uh, the people went away into exile because they forsook God and he forsook his protection of them. So when it talks about the city not being inhabited, uh, we're coming to a time when that's all over. It never happens again. Uh, the place would be very much populated. And so that's the picture we have. The other thing here that's interesting is uh, no more shall there be any utter destruction. The things that come when, when there's sin, the outcome, the consequences of that, all of that comes to, to destruction. And no more will there be that. There will never be another invasion of Jerusalem. There will never be uh, another case where the people go into exile. All those things will be over once and for all. And so, so yes, God can have his servant proclaim that this will never be ever again, all done, no more. Uh, we're through with that. The universe can move on, you know, we can kind of graduate out of the out of kindergarten and begin finally, you know, finally to go into first grade, uh, uh, learning and, and advancing and, and all the things that God has been wanting to teach us. But we've sort of had a multi-thousand year delay. It's okay, eternity, there's time. There's time in eternity to walk with Jesus. So in the end, all the moral issues, the ethical issues have been resolved and nobody will ever again need to work that out. It will be longstandingly perfected, sorted out. We're good. God plans to reunite us again. Everyone who's interested in living in a moral universe, an ethical universe, we're all going to be coming together. The disunity and the hyper-individualism we see today Ultimately, we're going to the good place, the good arrangement, where we really will have our individuality, we will have our liberty, and yet we will all collectively uh, very much be in the same vein of unselfishness. And so, you know how it is when two Christians try to walk through a door, oh, you go first, no, no, you go first. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while to get through the door because uh, we are kind of out humbling each other. That That could be a problem, maybe we need eternity for that, but but we're going to be on the same page. Yeah, it will be well worth the wait to live in a world where everyone, including me, and everyone, including every person, is very much like Jesus. And yet they're distinct individuals. Each one has their own unique, interesting, unusual, uh, fascinating, goodly pieces. And that's where we're headed, a good time, a beautiful time. The sin detour will be over. So the question for us today is, you know, where do I stand? Am I, am I in this continuously growing, uh, let's sort this out, yes, God, I want to go your way. Are we on that path? Or are we still off in the weeds, you know, off in the, off in the grass, the high grass with all the ticks there? Is, are we just messing around over there doing, doing stupid, doing, uh, doing, doing self stuff instead of God stuff? Where are we? Where are we? So there's a question for us. Mm -hmm.